Thank you, Dina. 833. Go to my Twitter, WFRE Tom, or my Facebook page, and you can see a picture of Brandy. And Brandy is our ideal Buick Hyundai GMC or Frederick Pet of the Week. What? Yeah. And Sean, so Linda's taking a week off. A lot of people yeah. a lot of people are taking these next few weeks off. Yep, she's visiting some family in Jersey, so she's taking some relaxed time. And so your four year old sings all the lyrics to Lady Annabellum's yeah. Need You Now. <laughs> she does. And she... I never thought that there would might have been something that you worry about coming out of a four year old's mouth. What what is the particular lyric there? Um, I think something in reference to being drunk or something oh, like that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, so your four-year-old's drunk in the morning and needs you now. No, and, and as I was saying, I, 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 I think you know she doesn't take into into account what the words really mean. I think she just likes the catchy tune. I've had to deal with this with my three-year-old niece singing the lyrics to Kid Rocks all summer long from yeah. beginning to end. Everybody in the family thinking just how cute that is. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of cuteness. What a sweet girl we have in here today. Yeah, she. Uh, her name is Brandy, as okay. you said. She is uh, five years old, so she does qualify for our discount for being what we would consider an older pet or a senior, which is $20 off, and she's a pit mix. And I think one thing you can't deny, Brandy, is that she is a social dog. She's a very social Anybody dog. Anybody that comes in, she wants to greet them. Yes. And albeit that she tries to jump up a little bit, she could use a little reinforcement on her training, but she is very social, eager to make new friends. And a very strong little stout doggy. Yeah, and for a five-year-old dog, I mean, this is a dog you could probably jog with. No, yeah, this she, this guy, I mean, or this young lady is like a little puppy. Yeah, she, I mean, she's active, she's ready to go, she'll play with you, she would love to fetch balls, so I think she'd make a perfect family dog for someone with kids that wanted to play um, with a dog outside, someone that was active, um, someone that was just looking for a dog that would fit into a family. Okay. Now, she does have a little bit of history. She came to us originally as a... Um, someone gave her up because they were moving and oh, couldn't okay. take her along. Ridiculous, but go on. And those people indicated that she got along fine with cats and dogs. Okay. And then she was adopted at one point, and the people returned her because they said that not everybody was getting along cat and dog-wise in the house. The people had two cats and a dog. So we encourage people to do meet and greets. So if you would even consider Brandy and you have a dog, bring your dog in. Spend some time with Brandy, your dog, and see how they get along. Uh -huh. And then we always warn people about um, cats and dogs. In the beginning, you need to protect your cat. Uh, make sure they have a safe place they can go and get away from a new dog, so on and so forth. So, mm -hmm. But no one's best friends in the beginning. No. Sometimes you got to take a little time and let that relationship develop and at the same time protect the pets in your house from each other. They'll work it out. It's always interesting how usually the cat turns out to be the dominant uh, <laughs> member of a household. Yeah. I've never seen one where the where the cat wasn't that way. Yeah, you, you're exactly right. And some of them have a stiff right hook. So. <laughs> All it takes is one shot to the snout and yeah. they get nothing but respect from then on out. Yeah, that's right. And so Brandy is our Ideal Buick Hyundai GMC of Frederick Pet of the Week. And if you adopt Brandy, then uh, you will get that gift package from K9 Health Solutions. Yeah, and so, some of the people who have gotten it have told us they were excited to come up here and pick it up. And I think it's a great thing to get your pet started when it supports new life. Uh huh. And what about uh, the foxhounds we had in last week? We had Daisy in, and she was just a cutie. Hercules. Hercules was in. Hercules, I'm sorry. and believe it or not, Hercules is still at the shelter. Okay. And, and what I saw this morning was, though, that Hercule, Hercules does have two applications, and we take two applications per animal. But I think sometimes people get in a rush to apply on an animal, mm -hmm. and then they maybe do a little research, or they really consider a sure. puppy. Sure, foxhound is a... Yeah, so I know Hercules has had several applications along the way, but they all seem to keep dropping off. So at this point, she does still have two applications, uh -huh. which is the max we take. So hopefully one of those um, comes to fruition, and she goes home. What about Sunny? Family. What about Sunny, Hercules' mom? Sunny's the same story. She's had, se I don't want to say several, but two or three applications maybe uh -huh. and they all fall off so I guess it's disappointing that applications fall off but I'd rather her go to a home and stay in that home forever as opposed to someone who half-heartedly adopts or doesn't know the full story and then returns an animal to our shelter so we're still working on Sunny too okay Brandy is our ideal Hyundai Buick GMC pet of the week give her a home five-year-old sweetie and we can guarantee that she is a social doggy everybody she looks at around here she is looking to greet and give some loving to